This course takes a look at what the future of training and development might look like. Sustainability refers to a company's ability to make a profit without sacrificing the resources of its employees, the community, or the environment. A growing number of companies have made sustainability an important part of their business strategy. Training and development can contribute to a company's sustainability initiatives by providing learning opportunities for employees in developing countries. The use of social media, smartphones, and other new technologies will likely increase in the future for several reasons. First, the cost of these technologies will decrease. Second, organizations can use technology to better prepare employees to serve customers and generate new business. Third, the use of new training technologies can substantially reduce training costs related to bringing geographically dispersed employees to one central training location. Fourth, these technologies allow trainers to build into training many of the desirable features of a learning environment, like practice, feedback, and reinforcement. Fifth, as companies enjoy more contingent employees and offer more alternative work arrangements like flexible work schedules and working from home, technology will allow training to be delivered at any place at any time. Sixth, new technologies will make it easier for training and performance support to be accessible to learners anytime and any place. Augmented reality refers to live, direct, or indirect views of physical, real-world environments whose elements are supplemented by computer-generated sound, video, graphics, or GPS data. The Tin Can API, or Experience API, is a specification for learning technology that makes it possible to collect data about an employee's or a team's online and face-to-face -face learning experiences. The use of games and mobile learning is likely to increase as these technologies impact our delivery of training and development for employees. This is leading to a better understanding of how we learn, which can be used to design more effective training and development programs. There are many areas of ongoing neuroscience research that can potentially influence training and development program design. Other research is investigating the biological markers of cognitive processes that are known to accelerate learning, like self-exploration and other meanings-based process methods, which can help us understand how feedback can be provided to learners to help them consistently use the most effective cognitive process for learning. Training functions will focus on learning with an emphasis on employee training and development and the management and coordination of organizational learning. Sharing knowledge and contributing to the organization's intellectual capital is going to become more common as collaborative social networking technology and Web 2.0 tools make this simpler to implement. The rise of intelligent tutors and on-demand learning technologies will make connections to information faster, more current and accurate, and more easy to customize to employees' needs and their work. Social learning refers to learning with and from others. We can learn from others in face-to-face -face interactions occurring in classrooms, conferences, and group meetings, as well as online using social media tools like Twitter, blogs, and social networks such as Facebook. Through sharing ideas, information, and experiences, we can learn more with others than we can alone. The increasing use of new technologies to deliver training and to store and communicate knowledge means that trainers must be technologically literate. Also, organizations have crafted positions such as Chief Information Officer, whose job is to identify reliable knowledge and make sure it's accessible to employees. Just-in-time learning refers to learning that occurs on the job as needed. Embedded learning may become increasingly prevalent in the future because organizations can no longer have employees attend classroom instruction or spend hours on online learning that's not directly relevant to their job demands. Formal training programs and courses will not disappear, but will focus more on the development of competencies that can benefit the employee and the organization over the long term. Embedded learning products include task-specific, real-time content and simulation that are accessible during work, as well as real-time collaboration in virtual workspaces. More learning will become just in time using mobile devices such as notebooks and tablets like the iPad. A new set of learning strategies will need to be adopted, including learning environments that include online mentoring and collaborative learning platforms. 
social networking platforms will be part of learning management systems for years to come. A performance analysis approach involves identifying performance gaps or deficiencies and examining training as one possible solution for business units. Training departments will need to continue instructing managers to consider all potential causes of poor performance before deciding that training is the best solution. Poor employee performance may be due to poor management, inefficient technologies, or outdated technology rather than deficiencies in skill or knowledge. Three ways that training departments will need to be involved include, first, focusing on interventions related to improvement, second, providing support for high-performance work, and third, developing systems for training. Training department's responsibilities will likely include a greater focus on systems that employees can use for information, such as expert systems or electronic performance support systems, on an as-needed basis. More organizations are striving to create high-performance workplaces because of the productivity gains that can be realized through this type of design. High-performance work requires that employees have the interpersonal skills necessary to work in teams. High-performance work systems also require employees to have high levels of technical skills. Just-in-time learning in many organizations is the answer for quick learning and the quick application of learning to the business. Organizations will continue to purchase learning management systems, or LMSs, that provide training administration, development tools, and online training. Stakeholder-focused learning helps develop and retain a satisfied, skilled, and innovative workforce and attract, keep, and satisfy customers. Global and technological changes are creating a skills gap that presents challenges for organizations in the U.S. and around the world. Barriers between businesses and educational institutions make it difficult for many employees to update their skills and knowledge that they need to further their current jobs or prepare for jobs in another career. To cope with the skills gap, we'll likely see more business, education, and community partnerships working on rebuilding education to employment systems. A lifelong learning system can provide better opportunities for more people to develop the talent needed to suit multiple jobs and careers that they'll likely hold during their lifetimes. A lifelong learning account, or LILAs, refer to an account for education in which both the employee and the organization contribute. Trainers and other learning professionals will need to identify outsourced providers who can deliver effective training solutions.